Hello, listen nyo lahat. Ang topic natin today is about XLOOKUP. We will be covering uh, different variations of XLOOKUP today. Uh, first is yung XLOOKUP on its own. And then second is the XLOOKUP in combination with choose. And yung pangatlo is XLOOKUP with combination with the indirect function. Let's start with ang ating first example and how to use XLOOKUP on its own. Ang ating data is meron tayong um, department name and we would like to get the number of employees for each department. Meron tayong separate table here kung nasaan yung number of employees. So we would like to return the number of, the number of employees based on the department equals XL. Then, pag nakikita na natin na lumalabas na yung formula from Excel, we just have to hit, to hit tab or press tab. Kailangan natin muna gawin based on sa screen tip ng Excel is what is the lookup value. Ang lookup value natin is financed, kama. And then, lookup array, which column nat makikita ang um, department financed which we can find it here in this column and then we'll have to press F4 uh, to lock the references and then comma what's the return array so ano yung column na gusto nating return ang gusto nating return of course yung number of employees so we just have to highlight this one and then F, F4 again and then we'll just have to close the formula click the fill handle and then bring it down the column so Yan ang ating first example, XLOOKUP on its own. Okay, ang ating next example ay uh, how to use XLOOKUP with another function. We call it CHOOSE. So, let's say ang ating data is we have a department name and then we also have a company name. Uh, we have this just the helper column CHOOSE and then we have the employee number na gusto natin i-return. So, Ang, um, ang, ang ating um, objective is to return the number of employees based on the department and the company name. So, let's say yung number one, yung row number one, let's say yung first row, uh, ang company name niya is, is Sanmig and then the department name is Finance. We should get the number of employees from this table, from San. San Mig, San, San, San Miguel, or I will just ch change it to San Mig. And let's look for the finance. So we should be returning 192 here, 192. Second, Ronaman, TNB, HR. So it should be looking at this table here. And then we look for HR. Uh, we should be getting uh, the column number, uh, the number of employees for. That's how. Uh, we should be getting the numbers based on the department and based on the company name. So this is just a helper column. Gagawa lang tayo ng uh, additional formula using the uh, function if statement. So equals to if, if that set is equivalent to sanmig. Then 1, otherwise 2. That's just how yung ating helper column. Same so, sabihin lang dito, kapag ang company name na to is Sanmig, we will refer to this um, first table. Kung TNT naman, then we will refer to the second table. Let's proceed now on how we can use XLOOKUP together with our helper column. So XLOOKUP, ang lookup value natin is yung finance pa rin, kama. And then, ang lookup pa rin natin is the, um, the dalawa kasing lookup pa rin natin. It, it depends on the company name. So, that's why we will use yung uh, the, the function choose. So, ang index number niya, we'll choose this the index number, yung helper columns natin na ginawa, kama, ang value natin is this is the um, ang ating first table then we'll just press F4 to lock, lock the references. And then, comma. And then, we'll highlight yung ating second table. 
press the F4 again to lock the references. Okay, so that's our um, lookup array. Tama, what's our return array again? So we'll have another choose. Kasi dalawa yung table natin, depende dun sa result na to. If the result is 1, then it will look on this column. If the result is 2, then it will look on this column. So 2 is for TNP, 1 is for SAML. Okay, so we'll use the choose again. Index number, itong helper column natin, we'll choose the um, cell. Equals, ito yung first value natin, first table. Press step 4 again, comma, and then we'll just highlight the second column. Press F4, close parenthesis yung choose, and then let's close parenthesis yung X lookup. Enter. Let's try to copy it down. So let's check kung tama ba yung ginawa natin. Sanmig Finance. Pag Sanmig, dito ka titingin. Itong column ka titingin, and then Finance is here, 192. So tama, 192. So pag Sales, TNT, so we we'll look at this table, TNT, Ang sales niya is this one, 8. So, we're getting 8. And then the last one, Sanmig Contractor. So, Sanmig Contractor 109, 109. Tama ang ating formula. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.